Hello, my name is Ultra and welcome to a vlog for you. That's right, I do vlogs and uh, reactions and reviews. Uh, but yeah, this is actually about the reaction part. Uh, I don't know if I want to continue it because a lot of it is the strikes that I'm receiving. And I know I, I said that during Wall as well, you know, I was, I was like, I don't know if I want to continue it because, you know, it's getting to a point where I was really, really tired of, of editing and re uploading because. Uh, thing about it is with Walt, you know, I didn't, uh, I didn't have OBS yet because I didn't know about it. So what I did was, I usually recorded me just reacting off of it and then the episode itself. So it was kind of like double work for me. Um, but with OBS, you know, it's one shot through, and I'm really happy with that because then I can edit more and I'm like okay this is where I, I want to cut things down and I did it when you know I was um, at the you know middle part of uh, Walter but uh, you know I guess you know <laughs> it's gonna be a normal thing every now and then um, I think about uh, these type of things because it's usually during the end of the year and I'm not uh, you know I, I understand is you know business whatever you know the final closing quarterly whatever but um, you know, I just I'm just thinking about my business as well and how I wanna how I wanna play this as well. Um, you know, and my business is entertainment, so I wanna entertain you guys. I wanna let you guys have fun, and have have you guys see me have fun, and also like question things and you know ask uh, questions, whatever. And um, yeah, I definitely wanna continue in this vein, but. Um, Unfortunately, the copyright is really strong. So yeah, I'm just gonna pick off all the Warner Brothers television stuff. Uh, apparently, David P. Kaplan is back at it again. So you know, be careful out there, other reactioners who is doing Warner Brothers television stuff. You know, just be sure to kind of um, you know, maybe if you're big enough, you know, you you get a lawyer. I don't know, and sue the fucking asshole for all his money's worth. Um, but yeah, I, I remember doing a lot of uh, sketches for that and it actually made me more passionate about what I was doing because, you know, I was like, you know, this is this is really unfair because, you know, it's, it's a bunch of people like me, you know, not really, so I'm stupid, uh, you know, a bunch of people like me who just want to make people smile and, you know, I definitely think... You know, that's why one of the things I, I started YouTube is, you know, I, I never felt like I got to laugh a lot when I was young. So, I was like, yeah, I, I definitely want to make other people feel that I, I love them and, you know, and say, hey, you know, you can laugh at me because I, I don't really care. Um, and not really care as in, you know, I don't really care if you laugh at me or, you know, you laugh at the stupid things I do. Because that is where I want to go with and um, you know you might think of me as a lazy idiot I will be the first to say yes I'm a lazy idiot but you know the things I do is is uh, the things I want to do you know I want to I want to review movies I want to react of, of TV shows or other YouTube stuff or even other you know other stuff out there that is not necessarily YouTube you know uh, gaming for example is kind of a reactionary thing as well because you're playing a game you know you're reacting of, of your deaths whatever and I'm not really a good gamer I'm not really a good comedian I know that but I, I'm learning um, I'm still learning I'm still in the learning process and I'm still growing so I, I really appreciate you guys staying with me and all that I remember um, yeah, th I guess this is kind of walk down memory lane as well. I remember doing uh, the toothbrush parody, and um, I was really happy about that because I didn't know how it was gonna turn out or whatever. Because I was just like, yeah, it's rushed, a rushed job. You know what? What do you expect from a lazy guy? And I didn't really have um, you know a proper schedule then, or even now actually. You know, I don't really keep myself scheduled because I, that's not the way I want to do things and I have enough schedules in my life you know with university and all that but after university I may do schedules just in case uh, you know things get a little too hectic um, and uh, yeah you know I remember doing the first the of controversy 
um, it was the Pokemon Go one, and I remember it being such a fad, uh, you know, such a fad for that one. I was actually thinking about bringing him back earlier for the Dab Cringe one, but I'm like, you know, this is something I want to do myself, and I want to see, you know, if people yeah, kind of like like my own style of comedy because like uh, Dicky is kind of the um, you know off the walls crazy idiot who doesn't give a shit but deep down inside he gives a lot of shits um, he just doesn't want to admit it um, and uh, you know I'm more of the guy who's like hey hey look at me I, I'm, I'm funny right uh, so it's, it's that type of comedy I want to I wanted to do you know more of the attention seeking comedy if you will uh, but yeah, I thought I really did a good job, um, and I was really happy with how it turned out. Uh, mostly, I do, I do reactions because I, you know, I I'm not really that talented, uh, obviously. Uh, <laughs> it's one of those things where I didn't think about it too much. I did I did my research, you know, and didn't see you know, other reactors, you know, what they were doing, and just the gist of how they were doing things. You know, some of them I did really like, and some of them I thought, you know, added too much commentary. Uh, and I was like, well, you know, there there is a point for for other people to react on it as well. So you can you can talk a little bit about it, but obviously make sure you know you you know when to when to stop yourself and everything. And of course you can geek out whatever, but um, yeah, this is one of those things that you need to to keep in check. And I always keep that in mind for my own reaction videos um the one thing as well i think for me why i really like continued doing youtube was because you know i i grew up with a lot of film and and history and you know a lot of these tv shows and a lot of media that i i, I grew up with so it's it was more of me trying to you know uh, pay homage to what I grew up with, whether it be you know <coughs> Avatar: The Last Airbender, which I only watched for a few episodes, and I didn't get to finish it until I was like thirteen, um, and uh, Samurai Jack, which I remember always watching on Sundays, and uh, it, it it never came to Malaysian cable, but I I really remember the days where I came back from school and I was really really tired and I'd sit on the couch and turn on the telly and I, w I would skip to Cartoon Network because that was my favorite channel growing up um, you know it had the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy it had um, it had Dexter's Laboratory, it had Ad Ad and Eddie, which I didn't watch too much, but I I, I, I liked it enough. Um, watched Ben 10. But yeah, I really enjoyed Cartoon Network, and the biggest icon for me for uh, uh, Cartoon Network was uh, Samurai Jack, and I remember a lot of the advertisements showed him, and I was like, yeah, I, I really like him. Um, and obviously, you know, uh, Foster's Home for the Imaginary Friend was really good as well. So I was like, yeah, yeah those two. Um, and obviously, Courage the Cowardly Dog. I, I really enjoyed that as a kid, even though it was, it's pretty scary imagery. But I was like, yeah, this is this is pretty cool to see kind of like these new monsters, whatever. Um, and uh, I remember watching the first comedy that I ever ever knew in my life was Spongebob and I don't regret it uh, a lot of people might say oh what you watched Spongebob but you know this was before you know the after Steven Hellenberg uh, left uh, Nickelodeon and signed off on you know the rights of um, Spongebob to Nickelodeon so that that it was always my icon for Nickelodeon but now not so much um, but I was more interested in Kim Possible actually so you know I was just like yeah it's Kim Possible I was, I was really happy with that I, and of course Proud Family 
was the one around yeah this is really cool it's really funny um that's a raven uh watch that uh, but i i didn't watch the newest one right now i mean the that's so home raven i don't know home edition whatever uh i remember Kari in the house but i never watched it uh sweet life of uh sweet life of uh, zach and cody i watched a bit but I, up until the point where you know they went uh, into the street life on deck and I remember I only watched one episode of that and I was like oh this is pretty cool but uh, then you know my sister was like cut the cartoon channels um, so I didn't get to watch it until I found the internet and uh, I watched it and I was like oh my god this is really really good and as I was going through uh, some emotional stuff, um, I'm really related to Cody, and I wish I didn't, because I'm a nerd as well, <laughs> deep down. <laughs> um, but yeah, that 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 is just just how things went on, and I I don't see as many YouTubers doing. TV shows anymore. I see one or two, and you know, I, I remember doing the throwback reactions, and somebody stole my ideas and got better views for it because you know, he's a, he was a bigger YouTuber and his setup was not this. Obviously, the background was it was much cleaner, it was a proper room, but you know, as I said, I don't have a proper room, it's just me. Um, whether you like me or not, I'm gonna be here forever. Cause I wanna do this forever, so there you go. Um, and I remember watching Black Mirror when I was uh, when I was at my lowest point, uh, and I was like, "Yeah, oh, this is really a good show." You know, the modern Twilight Zone is what I called it, and I was just like, "Yeah, oh, this, is, uh, this is putting things in perspective for me." But I definitely think the biggest one to change my perspective on things was The Legend of Korra. Also, Avatar The Last Hair Brother. I was just like, how can a kid's show, an animated kid's show, be so smart, so beautiful to a point where I literally cried when, you know, there was a point when um, Aang got shot full of blinding, and I was like, oh shit. Bruh, that was the first time I watched it. I was like, "What the fuck is he? Is he gonna, you know, is gonna be alive, whatever?" And obviously he does. But and I'm like, obviously I know he's gonna live. But you know, this is pretty fucked up for a kids show, you know. Um, and I really enjoyed that they they took the time to properly explain some Asian infused stuff. I remember someone asking about the the cutting the hair one i remember i responded that in uh, doug's video someone was like no no it's actually you know uh to show that um he, he just you know didn't want to, to be recognized which actually is pretty legit but the actual point was you know in ancient china whenever you know you didn't want to have ties to the palace you would cut your hair because they they were allowed they were allowed to have longer hair and you know never long beards because that was for more of the scholars more of the you know literary people more of the confucius you know the philosophers and all that but if you were in the palace and you were serving the palace and also you know some of the citizens during the Ming dynasty or the Qing dynasty they were uh, you know had long hair and you know they weren't encouraged to cut their hair and uh, if, you know especially for for the people of the palace to cut their hair that is a major no-no because it's like you're, you're cutting ties to your country you know uh, so yeah that is the basic point when they were cutting their hair is saying we're not tied to the fire nation anymore and I was like oh that's a very Chinese thing to do um, so yeah, that that was the point where I was like, yeah, maybe the Friday show is Chinese. Who knows? Um, but honestly, the Earth Kingdom, because just because of the kingdom itself, not really 
the 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 artistry or the even the the clothing because the clothing is is pretty more towards Japanese and I I get that, but you know the Middle Kingdom the the Inner Kingdom uh, Middle Kingdom and the uh, Inner City the Inner City Middle City and Outer City is China it's you know the inner middle and outer. Um, And I remember, I remember one point where I was just, I don't know, I, I may have been super tired from editing and, you know, I saw a lot of dislikes and I was like, why is, you know, why is there a lot of dislikes here? If, and that was the point where I realized that, you know, ratings does mean something, ratings does mean you know whether people like it or not or people determine whether it's good or not it's it's by this rating system but uh i was like i put my everything into it so you know i don't see why it's bad and you know that was the point that hit me i was like oh okay i i get it like you know it's like it's like me reviewing a lot of TV shows and movies, you know, they put a lot of their heart and their soul into it. But if I don't like um, if I don't like an episode or if I don't like a certain movie, you know, they're gonna be probably a little hurt by by the criticism because they put some, you know, they put some effort, they put some, you know, a little bit of passion into it. So maybe a bit of emotion into it so that, you know, people are more likely to be volatility volatility no nah. more volatile towards what you're saying because of that um but yeah i was take i would say take that with a grain of salt you know never be salty but just great uh but yeah anyway <laughs> i guess this is two sections and um i'm really thinking of doing other stuff as well so if you guys Want me to do more games, want me to do more other reaction stuff, you know, not TV show related because I definitely think I'm just, I just can't continue that because it was like, I'm just so tired of copyright claim and everything, so there you go, there you have it. Um, and I definitely want to be better, I definitely want to grow to be a better person. I definitely want to do more sketches, I want to do more stupid stuff, I want to do more funny stuff, I want to do, do more idiotic stuff, so to say. Uh, but I, I need to know if anybody's going to watch it because, you know, it's, just, it's, it's a transition of things in YouTube now and it's not, it's not the same old um, person with the camera. It immediately goes viral, you know, it has to be super, super cringy, super, super funny or super super stupid to to gain a lot of attention and it, that, that, that is our media right now but uh, that is that is it that is my story sort of <laughs> it is, is mixed in with the future of what's gonna go on and A lot of people were suggesting me mobile games, but the problem with that is, you know, I have to record it and, and, and put, like, my, I, I can do commentary on it and, you know, do, do a lot of stuff with that, but uh, I do want it to be in a way where I, I am in the picture as well, because, you know, it's, it's more fair use that way, because, you know, it, it's me commentary commentating on the material for example like Markiplier and those other guys you know they're they are really in the fair use area because even though they're playing the whole game through it's not a copyright infringement because they are providing their reaction their their commentary their their points of, of criticism across so there you go there is my my white knight ooh bad copyright but I don't think you're gonna see another sketch I, I feel like the the second one I'm not really proud of my second decay my controversy video I'm not really proud of is the the copyright sketch one where I'm like 
Yeah, I think I'm really tired of doing this one because nothing is gonna really be done about it. Um, maybe someone is gonna go back to it and be like, "Oh, this is really smart, man." But you know, someone already commented, "Well, it's just a lot of cutting, right? Cut here, cut there, and that's it." And I'm like, "Well, I don't know what you're talking about, but if you're talking about my video, that was the intention, you know. I wanted to skip around because that is very much the keys." editing um, and also because I don't want you guys to be bored about the process of uploading a video to fucking YouTube because that is fucking boring and it's also time consuming because I'm like I wanna upload another video but I have to wait for this to upload in process and create the thumbnail and put it in ah. the, the, <laughs> the problems of being a trooper anyway and also, you know, I, if you're talking about my own videos in the, in the past, I don't know what you're talking about because I don't do a lot of editing. I, I try to keep it in as much as I can, but it looks like I have to go back to, to the way things were when I cut things down to a very, very small, minimal time, a lot of t a slot there. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, may do more and more games uh definitely thinking about it um I, I don't know any good games because i grew up on flash games so you know um, that that's that's the most i could do which is flash games and i don't think you guys would be very very excited about me playing flash games unless i'm just like really reactive to it but the only one i can think of is a few max uh, Max games, games, a uh, few Y8 games, the old Y8 games, a um, few mini clip games that I already did one with uh, eight ball and all that. So yeah, that that is maybe the route I'm gonna go. Who knows? Uh, I I really want to go through the dank meme route, but I don't know enough dank memes to be like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a connoisseur of dank memes. Uh, I can't I can't really do that. So. <laughs> That's about it guys, um, I, I thank you guys so much for bearing with me through the, throughout all this. I'm um, still fighting the copyright strikes, I have two, so that's why I, I'm kind of gonna keep it low for the moment, or gonna keep things more happy peppy, or you know try to make things more happy peppy. Um, I'm, I'm still waiting for the day I can do a full release on my story. I'm just giving you bits and pieces. I'm not giving you the full story yet because I do I do want to feel where I've achieved enough to say okay I really want to share the full story of how I became a YouTuber and how I how I became this person that you see now today because I was not this person. I, I can tell you that I was a really really angry person. I was really I was really fucked up. I can tell you that I was not this person, you know, I was a really, really angry person, I was really fucked up, so I'm, I'm glad that I got over that, and I'm glad that YouTube has been such a part of that, and that's why I wanted to give back, and I wanted to go back and say, hey, I'm not just doing this because I want the fame, I want the attention, I want the notoriety, I do have a, a goal where I'm like, if I gain money from all this I'm actually gonna give like classes like you know how to how to start a YouTube video how to how to frame yourself you know that's all things I learned myself how to edit a video as I know a lot of you guys don't have IT background I didn't have IT background the most I had was C++ from my university but how's that gonna help me for editing a video you know how do I know how to cut you know that's because I watch a lot of film and I watch a lot of TV shows is why I know where to cut and I was like okay this is where to cut and also I watch other people's stuff and I was like okay that's how they cut okay that's how I should try to do it but obviously not copy their style or steal their ideas um, but yeah uh, that's that's just my my thoughts just my, my opinions so thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like if you like this video please share it 
if you would like me to be a better or you know want to see more from me please subscribe if you wanna if you wanna hear more from me please hit the bell because you get a lot of stuff from the notifications and also YouTube loves to unsubscribe people so that's just how you know you're not unsubscribed yet <laughs> But that's just YouTube man that's just YouTube so yeah guys that's about it thank you guys again you know we've been through a lot um, and I I am definitely gonna do a short video about the anniversary of Walt's death and I know it's past but uh, I wanna I wanna still do it so it's gonna be most likely a week before my finals or a week after my final depends it depends it really depends uh, but yeah it's just gonna be before Christmas I think you know it's it's not gonna be super fast it's gonna be it's not gonna be you know super big it's just gonna be me filming with my my phone camera so that's that's it um, yeah guys thanks so much for watching I know the this thingy is a bit different from our original one but I don't know what happened to the designs and I'm just like hmm I wish I saved them uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye